Oh, what a day for a wonderful commute. Welcome along, my friends. Welcome along. rain another day of flood warnings around here hopefully the route to work is not too bad we shall find out it's actually stopped raining there's a little break in the clouds we're heading for that there my friends is Gatwick Airport just in case you were wondering what we need is that little section there to follow me all the way to work if that would happen I'd be most grateful you see the fields flooded. It's drainage ditches filling up down here. Not only have you got to be careful of the puddles on your side, you've got to be careful of the cars on the other side, because if they hit them at the same time you go past them, you get hit with a tidal wave. get stuck behind a car now because car drivers forget that their cars are waterproof <laughs> because it's been raining so much over the past few days it's actually quite grippy under the tires when it just drizzles and you get the grease coming up from the surface it's horrible but when it's been hacking down for days it washes all that grease off and you get a little bit more grip you have got to be careful around here because of the farms and they deposit mud on the road and mud water and tarmac underneath that does become very slippery so swings and roundabouts just want to park up and have a little bit of a look we're close to flood in here this is where i crashed last year in the floods we're right on the edge of flood in here this has only got two feet to go till it breaks the banks but let's cross over where there's a path I'm keeping the visor down because I don't want it to steam up actually I can give it a little bit give you guys a break from the base I'll show you guys how close this river is to bursting its banks well it has technically because the bank is where those trees are let me walk to where the actual bank is without getting run over so this is where the bank is about here so it's already gone up there it's gone over the other side you can't see in the background but there's floodplains over there it's gone into those and then this side it's literally over the arches the top of the arches it's probably got six inches left of the arches for it to flow under once that gets blocked there we go so maybe tomorrow this might be not passable we'll find out tomorrow if it carries on raining like this definitely huh no no i'm fine i'm fine i was just seeing how close it was to flooding about that much <laughs> That's nice of them. Thank you very much for stopping and uh, inquiring. That has never happened to me from a car driver, ever. So I'm guessing he's actually a, a biker. But whoever you are, my friend, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. It's made me feel good for the day. You've given me a little bit of a boost. Not that I needed one, because I'm in a good mood. I don't know why, because I'm soaked, but I'm in a good mood. Right, let's get back on with the commute. Let's stick it back into tour mode. I only put it in gravel there in case it was flooded because I wanted a little bit of slippage of the wheels because last time I went through there and it was flooded, I had it in tour and I hit something in the middle. I went to give it some gas and all the trash control and everything kicked in. It didn't stall but I didn't make any progress forwards and I fell off sideways and luckily hit the kill switch on the way down so I didn't drown the bike. 
but fortunately or unfortunately I didn't get it on camera not quite sure if that's fortunate or not I'd have had all the Nigels on there going you should have done that you should have checked it with a stick first you should have swam through it with a snorkel to see how deep it was before you entered you should have kicked everything on the floor under the water to see if there were any obstacles but I didn't and we all learn we all learn the only thing that was bruised that day was my ego have some brick walls my friend have some brick walls bit of water and that's why we ride an adventure bike just a little bit of floodage Careful, the car's coming the other way. I mean, how dangerous is that doing a U turn off the edge of a roundabout? <laughs> Where are you going, left or right? A little bit windy as well as this storm comes in. I'm not sure what the storm is. Why is the road closed? It'll be closed because of a flood, but we're going to go and have a look. We might be able to get through on this. <laughs> I know it sometimes floods down here. a proper flood I'm gonna have a little walk see what we're dealing with because this is a bit deeper yeah that may be a little bit beyond my remit because I'm not sure of the holes the drains if it pops the drain lids out you can fall down one of those so that is a little bit beyond my remit because I can't see the other side I'm gonna bottle this one but, yeah, that's why the road's closed. <laughs> oh dear, it's going to be a long journey to work today. You say risk it for a biscuit, but not today because I can't see the other end of that. Well, we had a look anyway. Right, so that adds another five to ten minutes on my journey. I don't want to get done with the wake of these cars and you don't know what's washed off the curbs I've made this mistake before by sticking close to the curbs and they wash out It's going to be a long commute today. Just started pissing down as well. Oh, deep joy. I'm glad I left 20 minutes early. It's taken me 20 minutes to get five minutes up the road. Much worse, 100% going to be flooded. So we just have to see how deep it is to whether we can get through. But we'll have a go. That's close to flooding. If it's not covering at least some of the road, I will be shocked because I've never seen the other places flooded that deep. So I'm expecting this to be a little bit more. It 
doesn't look too bad. Not too bad at all. I was expecting that to be a lot worse. How deep is it? Maybe he's here, mate. Yeah, I won't do that then. It's too much, man. <laughs> yeah, I came through it this morning. Don't, don't risk it, it's, it's up to you. Oh, no, I'll film it. No, I'm <laughs> joking. Are you sharing on the, anything? Uh, you, right? YouTube. Ah. I'm not putting that on YouTube. Then, yeah, yeah, it's worse than this morning. Take the, my name on the foot on the YouTube, is a G Power. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, take it easy, mate. Looks like it's going to be a long journey home as well. Yeah, that was about three times as deep as it was this morning. Right, let's hope the river has subsided. Because last night I couldn't get through here. The guy said it was up to the level of my tank, my, where my knees are now. So I didn't go for it. It was dark and I didn't fancy getting stranded. <laughs> on the way home. How deep is it? Yeah, I know the left's just like that, innit? Yeah, starting, yeah. You come through it, yeah? Yes, I'm low out, he just went through, he went through the electric thing. Alright, I'm going through then. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Let this fan decide what he's going to do. It's not this side you've got to worry about, my friend, it's the other side. I see what he wants to do when he gets to the other side because he might want to reverse it. for that last night to be honest. I think the guy was exaggerated. At least I know I can come home this way even if the road's closed. Get all your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead, get, get gone. gone. Get all your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead and get gone.